Hey there everybody, welcome back for another weekly look at what's growing on here at uh, our little property. You'll notice I'm outside today, got a bit of blue sky, got a bit of gray sky. Kind of mixed weather, but it's warming up to 11 degrees Celsius, they say. So, times 2 is what, 22 plus 32 is 54, about 54 degrees Fahrenheit, give or take. So I thought I'd do a little work outside, bring you guys with me, because today I'm working on one of those ideas, it's either absolutely crazy or perfectly brilliant only time will tell you know it's kind of one of the themes on my channel here is uh, either crazy or brilliant but anyway I've got this giant cardboard box you see and it is a very large cardboard box this is what the uh, euro grower garden came in and until now it's been kind of a play fort for the cat but I'm tired of tripping over it in the living room so I'm bringing it outside here in the long shed, the dark and creepy long shed, Mwah, ah, ah. we have a lot of stuff, really. A lot of it came with the house, including this uh, mostly glass door, light aluminum frame. Plus, as I'm cleaning up the yard, I'm ending up with all these piles of leaves and grass clippings and some pine needles and stuff. But I gotta do something with those. So. What I have decided to do, for better or for worse, is to um, combine them all and make something of a raised bed, warmed area that I can hopefully bring some pepper plants out and get an earlier start in, because five weeks, I want to get them out sooner than that. And even though I know I probably shouldn't, I'm going to try anyway, because that's just how I garden. Right. Let's go. Guess the first thing I need to do is thoroughly check this for any cat toys that might be tucked under layers of cardboard, because I'm sure he'd be very upset to lose those. Well, there didn't appear to be anything in there but kibble and fur, so next I need to find out if it can even support the weight of that door. Pretty sturdy box, though. I'm hoping it can. Well, that seems to work well enough for now. Looks like the glass is big enough that I can eventually just take it out of the frame and use those two panels make my life a lot easier but yeah so that will work guess next I get to grab my handy dandy fishing sled and uh, start collecting all these piles of leaves most people would use a wheelbarrow but no I've got a nice fishing sled one of the many many reasons most people look at me and go you know that boy's just not right in the head whatever though seems to work just fine Used it all last year, gonna do it this year too. Like I said, may not be normal, but it works. So, doo -doo 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 -doo. here we go. Well, that's one load in there. Spreads out nice. Maybe two more. I don't want to fill it up all the way. I want to be able to like nestle the plant in there. Hopefully they'll have a little heat saved from the day. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how this works. Well, it turns out two loads will do it, and how convenient is that? Sled fits like right inside the box. Perfect. And the setup seems to come complete with its own wild ladybug. Alright, let's go find you some uh, plants to take care of. Alright, so let's take a look at some of these starts and see if we can't find ourselves a couple of potential candidates to put outside in that little cardboard box setup. Hopefully the leaves will be enough to insulate it. We'll see, we'll see. What do I have lots of? Got lots of orange habaneros. Feel like I'm loading up a picnic basket. Alright, what else can I take out there? I think there are four reapers in cups over there and one in the hydroponics. You know, that one in the hydroponics would probably get way better light if I got rid of that one in front of it. Don't you think? Yeah, that's it. Add it to our little adventure group here. Who else do we have? Who else? Uh, I think there might be a couple of Scotch bonnets over there. I know there's at least two Weary Weary. They both look pretty nice. Uh, which one to take? This one here. This one here. They're both looking good. We'll just take this one, I guess. It's closest. It's coming for the ride. I think my little picnic basket counts as... Uh, at this point. Back to the yard! Maybe I'll grab one of these herbs too. This rosemary is finally starting to do well so I don't want to mess with it but I do have two sages 
This one I'm kind of doing a little bonsai experiment with. So I guess that leaves us. Yeah. All right. Now we go to the yard. Now I guess all I really need to do is just kind of spread them out a little bit so they all get a little bit of sun. And I think I am taking those windows out before I call it done for the day. That thing's just awkward. All right. Well, that doesn't look so bad. Yeah. Hopefully the leaves will absorb some heat. I'm not counting on heat from decomposition. I'm counting on insulation and uh, a little heat retention. And hopefully that will be enough because there's undoubtedly going to be a few frosts between <laughs> now and the 1st of June. But this is better than nothing. And when the glass is on there, it, it, it should be good. As long as I don't like bake my plants or start a fire in the leaves, everything will be fine. Well, that first panel came out easy enough. Didn't realize quite how dirty it was, but we'll, we'll leave that on there for uh, UV protection. Yeah, that's it. Now, gotta get this other one out. Or, as another solution, because that one didn't show an easy way to come out, I can just grab another window from the assorted collection of them in the long shed. Alright, so that pretty much wraps up how I assembled my little spring pepper plant incubator from a cardboard box. Some leaves and some old windows. And this is the part where I feel like a bit of an old-fashioned carnival barker. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, step right up, place your bets. Do you think this is gonna work? Do you think I'm gonna start a fire? Do you think those pepper plants are gonna fry in the heat? I need your comments, need your feedback. If you think I'm gonna cook them, <laughs> let me know. I can probably put in some sort of ventilation. Oh, I've got some PVC. I've always got PVC. Yeah. Maybe I'll prop up the back of those windows a little bit so that uh, the truly hot air can escape. And I can just like set it down at night and keep whatever warmth is in there. Yeah, yeah. All right, come back next week and we'll, uh, we'll all find out how this worked out. So yeah, all right, take care everybody. I will see you next week.